Hello, my friend. Yeah, glad to see you here. Uh, today, I want to take a look at the Lord's Prayer and the word Father. So last time we talked about our, okay, and now we talk about the Father. When Jesus asked us to pray to God and call him the Father, no doubt that we are his children. This is a father and son relationship. It is the born in. No one can break it apart. No matter what happened, God and you actually are connected like this. Okay? No need to earn, no need to begging because he is our father. Now, this is the big revelation. So that's why I call it the living faith because God is living forever, eternity. And we ourselves, as a, his children, our relationship is eternal. Nothing can break it. Think about your own father on earth. Would he be the one that providing you the food, accommodation, and the love, and discipline? try to grow you as the great son of the family. Now this is the base of this relationship. And also this is the base when we pray. I hope that you get this uh, important idea behind the prayer, okay? And who we are praying to. It is our Father. Before you realize this fact, you will not see him as your Father. How would he feel about the son that not recognize his father? Obviously hurt. All right. If you have your kid and the kid don't consider you as the father, how would you feel about it? All kinds of relationship. If the other side of the person don't consider you being part of the family, how would you feel? You feel hurt. Same way, our Heavenly Father also will feel hurt if we don't recognize him as our father. Now you are in the family. Okay, this is the big, big family. Some of them recognize this fact that we are the children of God, but there's still some don't consider themselves as the children of God. Now, there's a two side of the people, right? One side is the one that who believe, the other side, who don't believe. This is who we are before we come to recognize this fact that, oh, God is our Father. We also coming from the non-believing side and coming to the believing side. So how we would see those people who don't recognize this is they are not yet believing it. We will not consider them not being saved because they have not yet realize this fact. So for those who are believed, we will consider all human race, everybody, no matter you like him or not, okay? <laughs> we are all God's children. But just that some of these people don't recognize God as their father. Of course, we, the God feel bad. We also feel bad. We hope that they recognize this fact one day. So this is the how we should treat the other people who are not believers. Now you know you are part of the family if you see God as your father. When you come to the father, you can talk to him all kinds of things, all right? If happy, unhappy, if you need help, and you can ask for the help, and if you need something, lacking of something, you can also ask him for something. It's just a family thing, all right? This is how we see God. Now, let's switch the other side. How would God see us? As a father, he definitely want to train us to be more mature, a better son in the family. This is all his uh, objective, to train us up and help us to be a better part of the family. You may think sometimes that, why God didn't answer my prayer? Well, he may think that you may be capable, 
and he wants to see you to learn to grow up being the better son in the family. Makes sense, right? Sometimes he will talk to you and tell you that, son, you are wrong. Listen. But sometimes you choose your own way and figure out later that, hmm, God is right. And this is the learning process. And also, as a father, uh, treating his son is the precious asset in the family. He definitely wants to invest, develop you unconditionally. This is the relationship between God and us. Now, one more thing. How God sees those people who don't believe Him as their father. As I said before, He feels hurt. And He's waiting. And He always wants to help you and telling you that, Hey, son, turn back. You are getting in the wrong way. Because you don't know Him. So, you basically ignore every advice that he gave you. Even though he sent his son to come and tell you, hey, now, you may still choose not to listen. But remember, he always see you as his son, even though you don't recognize him as your father. He is always waiting. I hope that this message encouraged you to think a little bit differently and see who God is. See you next time.